everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very, very daunting task and that is I'm going to show you my shoe collection. So I've been putting this off for a really, really, really long time just because I have so many pairs of shoes. So I know that filming and editing this video will be a nightmare. However, I am starting to pack up all my things. So my shoes are actually one of the last things that I'm packing. And since we are moving in a couple days, I decided that before I pack away all my shoes, I'm going to record this video so I can share all of my shoes with you. I'm gonna cut this in right here because I actually ended up only filming the first half of this shoe collection video because I went through all of my Lucy's shoes and realized that I got super super tired and it's gonna be like a 80 minute long video if I went through all of my shoes because I do have so many and I do have a lot of Liz Lisa shoes so I think this video is only gonna be Liz Lisa shoes so yeah please continue watching if you're new to my channel welcome welcome my name is Saki I make videos every single week about cute and kawaii fashions if you like cutesy girly things and if you like pink please follow me because I make a lot of really cutesy girly videos about fashion and it would be so awesome for you to join my family. Alright let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with my Liz Lisa shoes because those are my absolute favorite of course because I love Liz Lisa so much. So yeah let's just get right into it. I have a pile of shoes right here so I'm just gonna start grabbing some and then talking about them. So the first pair of shoes I'll start out with are these Liz Lisa pumps. They're just these crisscross pumps with the floral on the side. Um, I actually bought these shoes secondhand. They are in the ivory colorway. I think these are from 2016. They arrived in perfect condition. I love wearing these shoes for like more work outfits. I don't wear heels to work, but when I want to look like professional and like business casual, I definitely like wearing these just because I think they look really smart. They're kind of plain, but also they have like one little cutesy detail. So I definitely think that these are really fun to wear on like business casual days. And of course they go really well with Lizzie's dresses. I think they also go well with like more mature style. So yeah, I definitely love these. The next pair of shoes I have are these wedges from the 2017 spring collection. They say Innocent Dream Flower on the side because that was the name of the 2017 spring collection. They're just these wedges and they look like this all around. They've got these really really pretty ruffle details. These actually made it into sale. I bought these on sale at the Liz Lisa website and they were on sale for quite a long time. I think people were hesitant to buy these just because they are extremely strappy. You'll see in the modeling shots but they're basically super super hard to get on and off. So I imagine like in Japanese culture where you have to take your shoes on and off all the time These would be such a pain because you do have to like tie them up and then put the strap on and it's kind of a hassle I have only worn these a couple times. They're a little bit dirty right now But I think just with you know a wipe of a towel I think it'll come off but yeah I love these I think they're super cute and I think they're super summery as well and They're really comfortable to walk in again. These are from 2017. So yeah, those are these shoes The next pair of shoes are these Liz Lisa ribbon heels. These are actually one of my favorite shoes in my collection I I love these to death. They are just like this on the top and they have like a bunch of ribbon details. I actually scuffed the shoe a little bit when I was walking one day and actually this is such a common occurrence for me. I always like scrape the top of the shoe for some reason. So a lot of my shoes have scrapes right there which is really really sad but I don't know. <laughs> the back of them just looks like this. It's got like a ribbon kind of lacing up through it and then there's two straps. I just think that this shoe is so so freaking adorable. They're the most comfortable shoes to walk in ever. They've got like this huge platform right here and then the pump is pretty high but like I said because of the huge platform it is super comfortable to walk in and I just think that these go great in spring and summer and even like transitioning into winter I think that they're so comfortable and they're pretty durable in terms of like waterproofness like I've been in the rain with these shoes and they're totally fine the only thing like I said before it's a little bit easy to scratch because I did scratch mine I think that these are really comfortable and really cute so I definitely recommend them if you're trying to find them online while we're at it I might as well show you the beige colorway that I have this is the exact same shoe it's just in beige I actually have never worn this shoe. I think maybe I've worn it once and I really do like it. I love the design and everything like I said because I love the pink one. However, I never I never wear it so I think I might sell these. I wanted the ivory colorway but they sold out really fast and I think I would wear that one more because I do wear white more. However, I do have a beige bag that I might need these for one day. It's kind of silly just to save them to wear with one bag but I don't know. I'm just kind of holding on to these because I love the design so much so I may get rid of these in the future but who knows. I also wanted to mention really quick that I do wear a Japanese size M which is about 23.5 centimeters which is about six to six and a half US size so all my shoes are in that size. The next pair of shoes I have from Liz Lisa are these pumps. These are the three strap pumps from autumn 2017. These are super cute. They are in a pinky purpley color. They've got this velvet bow on the top and then they've got these three bows in the back. 
These are also super comfortable to wear. I wore them a lot in autumn because I thought they were really comfortable and fun and cute and they are also versatile I think. I love the way that they look but I haven't been reaching for them lately mostly because the color is more of like an autumn pink color because it's more of like that dark purple pink but I do still think that they're nice and they're comfortable and I love the three strap design. I think that's super super cute. So continuing on with items from 2017 autumn collection I got these strappy pumps. I don't remember what they're called obviously because I never remember the names but basically they kind of crisscross like this and then there's like this string that you wrap around your ankle so then the pom-poms kind of just like hang out like this on your foot. I think that they're super super cute. These were also really comfortable to wear. I feel like all of the Liz Lisa pumps that are at this angle that have like this platform and then this pump are really really comfortable to wear so I highly recommend all the shoes like this. They are extremely comfortable if the shoe matches your size. Like I know they only have four sizes so if you're in between any of those sizes they might not be so great but if you are true to size to any of the Liz Lisa sizes I highly highly recommend buying all any and all pumps because they're so comfortable. I just love these. I love the little pom-pom dangle. Again, because these are kind of strappy, they are a little bit tedious to get on and off just because you have to, you know, wrap this around your ankle and stuff, but I don't know. I think it's really cute, so I love the way that the pom-poms dangle, and I wore this in a lookbook once, and they were absolutely so, so cute with all of my autumn outfits, so yeah, I definitely love these. The next pair of shoes are from 2018 Spring Collection, and they are these wedges. I think I've talked about these wedges quite a bit. I do love them. Um, they they are pretty high. I feel like they're one of my taller shoes, even though all of my Liz Lisa shoes are pretty tall. For some reason, I just feel like these are taller. Like, I always know shoes are tall when I sit next to my boyfriend because he is um, five six or five seven I believe he's not very much taller than me so whenever I wear like super tall heels like this it kind of feels a little bit weird because I feel like I'm towering over him even though I think it just brings me up to the same height as him but um yeah I just feel like these are um, a little bit taller for some reason they've got this really cute um detail in the back and then the lace front just looks like this and it did come with like a little bow on the top. I think that's on another pair of shoes right now. You'll probably see them sometime later in the video on those other pairs of shoes. But yeah, I just think that this is super cute. I also think that this is still available at the Liz Lisa website. So if you want to pick these up, I highly recommend them. All right, the next pair of shoes, they're kind of an impulse buy. So I haven't really worn them, but they are these red wedges right here. So I love the design of this shoe. I actually have this shoe in pink. I'll just go ahead and show you them now so we can get them both out of the way. But these pink pumps are my absolute favorite of life. Like, they are so adorable. They're so cute. However, I've never worn them outside because I bought them in a size L. So I figured that um, these are going to be more like autumn shoes for me just because of the dark pink color. So if I wear them with socks, I can totally wear them fine. They are a little bit loose on me, but if I wear thick socks, I don't know, they're still pretty comfortable and I can still wear them. So I bought these like not too long ago. I think when it was winter. So I think when autumn rolls around, I'll wear these a lot more. But however, I did buy these shoes before. This was when I was going through like a Bordeaux craze. I really really liked the Bordeaux color but I realized that I never ever reached for it so I think these might go on my Depop soon. I love them to death. I love the velvet. I think it's so beautiful. The camera is kind of making it a little bit brighter than it is in real life. I don't know maybe if I zoom in yeah, that didn't help, but they are like a darker Bordeaux color. They're not like bright red like they're showing up on camera. I think they're just, they're super beautiful and maybe, I don't know, like during Christmas time or something they'll be great again, but I just, I never reach for this color. Even no matter what holiday, no matter what season, I always reach for pink, so I don't know if I'm going to be wearing these, but I love them in my collection right now. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in these shoes, please let me know and, I don't know, make me an offer because I think that I might have to sell these soon if I don't wear them. And these are in a size M and these are in a size L. Let me show you a close-up of these because these are just like the shoe of my life. Like look how cute that is. I just love this bow detail so much and I've literally been hunting for these shoes so I'm so glad that they're in my collection. These next shoes are actually the first pair of Liz Lisa shoes I've ever owned and there are these boots. So I am totally into cowboy boots. I think that they're so cute. I have so many pairs of cowboy boots. I've already packed them though, so I'm not going to show you them in this video. However, I did want to show you these. These are from Liz Lisa, like I've said. They are in a size M, but they're actually really big. I actually bought this from Kawaii Getter Shop maybe like 
three years ago or something like that three or four years ago it was a long long time ago but um yeah I just thought these were the cutest thing ever I love wearing them in the spring I haven't worn them recently so maybe I'll get back into wearing these because I do really love them I love the way that they look I love the little cowboy boot style they've got like a more rounded toe than my other boots but I think that's totally cute again they are so scruffed up at the top I don't know why I keep doing these to my shoes I think it's just the way that I walk I'm like not careful with like the top of my shoe or something but yeah they're just super adorable super comfortable I love these with white dresses I think that's like the cutest look ever so I actually might wear these like today or tomorrow or something just to pop in a little quick ad I did buy those from Kawaii Ghetto Shop and I do have a code with them if you want to check out any of their items they do sell Liz Lisa and a couple other Japanese brands as well so if you're interested in checking them out my code is Saki S-A KI and you can use that at checkout for a discount. Alright, moving on. These shoes are from the Spring 2017 collection. I actually thought these were the most adorable thing when I saw them on Nachos, like the um, model at the time. So I bought these because they were on sale and nobody wanted them I guess because they were on sale for quite a long time. But I actually think that these are super cute. They're actually not as uncomfortable as you might think. They are a little bit like loose because um, as you can see there's no backing right here. It's just held up by these strings that you wrap around your ankle so it's kind of flimsy but because the shoe is not very high or anything I actually find these to be very comfortable I don't wrap them too tight around my ankle just because I don't like that feeling of like squeezing on my ankle however just loosely wrapped I don't find that they're super uncomfortable or anything and they're fine to walk in like I walked like through a mall and stuff with these shoes so I definitely I don't know I like them I like the way that they look I think they look super cute with white dresses. I actually really, really want one of those like flowy Liz Lisa dresses to wear with them, but I haven't gotten my hands on one yet. So yeah, these are just really nice to wear with like white or floral or anything because they are really plain. Um, the top is just lacy like this. And yeah, they're just like cute and simple, so I love them. Oh dear God, this video is going to take forever. <laughs> Alright, moving right along, the next pair of shoes I have are these Liz Lisa Ribbon Pumps. These are so freaking comfortable. These are actually my go-to when I have to go to like some sort of party or anything because they're really comfortable to wear. Because of the light pink color, I feel like they go with all of my outfits. And they're a little bit beat up right now. So if I am walking a lot and if I am going to somewhere where I know like, I don't know, it's not necessarily like inside, I definitely wear these because they're already a little bit scruffed up. And the back just has this really cute little bow. And then there's like an ankle strap that I just tucked in here because it falls out a lot when I'm not wearing the shoe. So yeah, um, these are just velvet. They're actually, they get dirty really easily, but actually they're pretty easy to clean if you just use like a soap and toothbrush. So yeah, there's these. The next pair of shoes I have are these pumps. These are the ribbon pumps, I think from 2016 or 2015 I'm not sure I bought these secondhand and they came in really good condition but because I've worn them so much there's like um like scrapes and holes and stuff everywhere I love the design of these shoes I love the big bow in the back and I think it's super cute how they kind of peek out a little bit I definitely wore these a lot in autumn just because they are the darker pink color but they aren't like as purple as some of the newer darker pink collections I think these are super comfortable and super cute and I love the crisscross design sorry I just have to totally speed this up because I am taking for ever to explain the shoe and I have so many pairs of shoes to go through so I'm just gonna roll right through these. The next pair of shoes I have are these. These are ankle boots from Liz Lisa. They are super super pale pink color. I love the color so much. I think that this is actually maybe the second pair of shoes I ever got from Liz Lisa. Um, the only thing that disappointed me is that the bow is not removable. On a lot of their shoes the bows and stuff are removable so you can like move them around or put them on other things but however this one isn't. This also isn't the most comfortable shoe to wear. The heel is nice because it's a block heel so it's not like super wobbly or anything. However as you can see I think because these are older Liz Lisa shoes the platform isn't as high as like some of the newer shoes so as you can see here the platform on this shoe right here is like a lot higher than this one so the angle of this is actually very uncomfortable to walk in for a long period of time so I don't really wear these that much but I do like the way that they look and I love the little bow so, so I am keeping them in my collection for now the next pair of shoes I honestly don't know why I have but they are these Liz Lisa ankle boots. They are so, so cute with winter outfits, but they are so impractical to wear during the winter because they are faux suede and faux fur, which are the worst materials to go out in when it's like raining and snowing and just muddy and gross outside. So they are a winter shoe and they can only be a winter shoe because they are 
furry as hell, but I can't wear them during the winter because they're just so impractical. I don't know when I'm ever going to wear these. I love just taking pictures like um, of winter coordinates with them, but I think that's literally all the use I'll get out of them because they are so impractical to wear during the winter. Maybe if you live in a place where it's like cold but it doesn't snow. It's not like that here, however. It does snow and rain a lot during the winter, so definitely can't wear them. Um, they've just got this ribbon detail with these strawberries that are super super cute and yeah love these shoes It's just so impractical. All right, the next pair of shoes I have are these Liz Lisa wedges. I actually bought these last year Yeah, I bought these last year during spring. They are some of my favorite shoes They're really really dirty right now because I do wear them a ton. They are one of the most comfortable shoes ever um, They are wedges, so that's probably why they're comfortable. I just love these so 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 much I love the pink and the lace together. I think it's really cute and really flattering and yeah I just wear this with literally all my skirts all my dresses all of my spring and summer outfits basically the next two pairs of shoes I have to show you are the same pair of boots in different colors this is in like a more um, beigey nude color and this is in more a brown color I think I'm actually gonna get rid of these I don't wear these ever I bought these at the same time because I was going crazy for buying Liz Lisa boots because it was autumn at the time that I bought these however I just don't like the color of this at all. Um, it's showing up a little bit weird on camera. It's showing to be a little bit more red than it is, but it is just like a dark brown color, so I don't really like it. I don't think that it goes with anything that I have, so I definitely reach for these a lot more often. They are super scruffed. Like, look at that. Because, like I said, I'm super clumsy and I don't pay attention to my shoes very much, so it's kind of sad to see, but oh well, I, I do get use out of them, so that's okay, at least I wear them. They are pretty tall, and they are like um, an ankle boot, however, these actually flatter my legs so much. At first I thought that they would like cut off my ankle and make me look kind of like fat, I don't know, on the leg, but actually they don't, and I think that they're super cute for fall. And I love the little bow details in the back, I think it's super cute, and yeah, I think that this goes with autumn coordinates really well so I'll definitely be keeping this pair but um, probably selling the other pair. The next pair of Liz Lisa shoes are probably my favorite in my collection right now and it's these shoes right here. These are the sandals that released this year 2018. They just got this clear block heel and I think that these are super super cute and they are so amazingly comfortable. I do however have to wear socks with these because as you can see there's like a gap right here and my pinky toe does slip in between the gap so if I don't wear socks it's really uncomfortable to wear but if I do wear socks I can literally last all day in these shoes. They are so so comfortable to walk in. I love the clear heel. I think some people don't like this about this shoe but I actually really really love it. I think it's unique. I think it, it kind of reminds me of like a wedge sandal for some reason just in that they're super summery but it's a different take on it and it's just so so comfortable and so gorgeous. I literally wear this with everything. I'm bringing these to my Vegas trip this year because I think that they can be a day shoe and a night shoe so yeah, I'm definitely loving these. I think I'm going to get another pair in pink, hopefully. Hopefully they go on sale before I buy it because I've been doing the thing where I buy something full price and then the next day they go on sale. So I'm trying to wait for that, but they are running out. So if you are interested in these shoes, you better buy them quick because I think I checked them this morning and a lot of them are already on the last like stock or whatever. So yeah, definitely buy these shoes if you want them because they are running out. All right, and the last pair of boots that I'm going to show you from Liz Lisa are these. These are actually um, from 2017. I believe no I think these are from 2016 um they are this like I don't know they're not knee high thigh high boots I guess I love these I love the way that they look I love the like little ribbon right here the little bow details I love um, this part because I think it reminds me of like a cowboy boot. However, I don't think that this is necessarily flattering on me. My ankles, not my ankles, my um, calves are kind of big. So these get kind of super stretched out in my like big calves. So I don't think that these are the most flattering on me. But I do love the way that they look with certain things. And if I wear like super short skirts or super short dresses, I do like the way that that looks. So I have them in my collection still because, I don't know, I think I'm going to give them another chance this autumn and see how they get on with me. But if not, I will sell them. But yeah, I just think that they're super cute they've got really cool details all around oh man I just remembered that I have two other pairs of Liz Lisa boots that I have already packed so I won't be sharing them with you but I do have two knee-high boots I might try to insert some pictures for you if you do want to see but um yeah darn I already packed them and I really really don't want to unpack so all right the next pair of shoes that I have you I believe are Liz Lisa replica shoes um they're these wedges right here I think there are a replica of 2014 or 2015 shoes they've got these flower details on the side and these bow details in the back I love these shoes too 
death. I didn't actually know that they were replicas until I think somebody pointed them out to me or something like that. I do keep them with my Lizzie's collection, however, Yes, they are replicas. I bought them on eBay, I believe. There's actually a lot of Lizzie's and replica shoes on eBay right now. I'm not sure why, and I can't even pick out um, all of the replicas because I don't really remember the older collections that well, but I'm pretty sure these are. Um, however, I do wear these so much. They work pretty cheap, but they are super, super comfortable, so these are my go-to wedge when I need to walk a lot and when I need to like go to the pool and I know I'm going to get wet or something like that. They weren't expensive, so I don't mind ruining them if I have to. Oh my god, we're finally through with all the Lucy's the shoes. You know what? I'm actually just going to end the video here because I'm so, so tired of talking about shoes, and I didn't realize that I think Liz Lisa is like half of my shoe collection, so I will probably do the other half next week. Yeah, I actually think that works out well because I think that um, I'll do half for this video and half for next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a big thumbs up. And like I said, you can buy Liz Lisa shoes secondhand. So if you are looking for any of these, I will leave some links down below to the Japanese websites you can buy them from. I go through this every time I talk about secondhand shopping. But basically, I use the shopping service Tenchi Shop. I will leave her service down below for you as well. But basically, if I want to buy anything secondhand, I do go through her. I have a whole video about how to buy Liz Lisa new and secondhand. So I will link that down in the description below as well so yeah if you're interested in any of that please check those links out and I'm sorry I'm talking so fast I'm just so tired of talking about shoes so <laughs> save me all right thank you so 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 much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I do make videos every single week and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye